Uh, people who liked Elon Musk but no longer do. What was the turning point? Stuff such as him saying he'll donate six billion to fight world hunger if the charity actually laid out a comprehensive plan to make it work. They did, and then he snuck away, never to mention it again. There's a lot wrong here, but let's do a little background first. CNN reported that the director of the UN Food Scarcity Organization said that 2% of Elon Musk's wealth could solve world hunger. Dr. Eli David tagged Elon Musk and pointed out that the UN World Food Program raised $8.4 billion in 2020. Musk then says if the World Food Program can describe on this Twitter exactly how $6 billion will solve world hunger, he will sell Tesla stock and solve the problem. The problem is no one actually gave him that description. They ended up shifting the goalpost and said his $6 billion could merely relieve people, but it would not solve world hunger. And it's so obvious that this wouldn't solve world hunger. People seem to think that you can just throw money at stuff and all of the problems will be solved. The United States gave over $5 billion to the World Food Program in 2022, and world hunger still exists. The United States and other countries like Germany and the UK have given billions and billions of dollars over the years to Africa and Asia, and these countries do not simply have all of their problems solved because we send them money. This method is not how you solve global poverty. The evidence is overwhelmingly against it. Meta-analyses of tons of studies over the decades have failed to find evidence of significantly positive effect of aid. These results have been found time and time again. Bilateral aid can do nothing to increase economic growth. Even the World Bank has pointed out that over 85% of the money raised for aid doesn't even go to its intended purpose. But even then, the big problem with this type of aid and this type of thinking is it has the wrong foundation. As described in Dr. Zeidelman's book here, the implication is that the rich countries have to give up some of their wealth and then the poor countries will be better off. It's a zero sum fallacy. People think that if you are successful, it has to be to the detriment of someone else. If Elon Musk is successful, it has to be to the detriment of all these poor countries, of all the starving people. If the United States is successful, it has to be to the detriment of the third world. The economist Paul H. Rubin makes the important point that the key of economics is not wealth allocation, but wealth production. When people are talking about Elon Musk solving world hunger, they think that you're going to solve all of these economic issues with allocation rather than production. Simply sending over a bunch of money doesn't solve the systemic issues. It doesn't fix the institutions. It may provide limited relief for a limited time, but fundamentally, these countries have to change their institutions. They have to change the way their economies are run. They have to become more market-based and free market economies. They have to allow their people to actually produce wealth. They can't just keep demanding wealth from the other nations. This is part of my series going over how nations escape poverty by Dr. Ziedelman. You can pick it up in the link in my bio.